Welcome to Spare Time Art Design. My name is Sharon and today I am going to be doing a pour on a 24 by 12 inch canvas. I'm going to do four flip, flip it cups. And my colors, I don't know if you can see, are pink, ivory, and gold. I have three different shades of pink. Uh, this is quinacridone magenta. This is, um, I'm not, I think it's called pale pink or something like that. Let me see. Uh, light pink. It's mixed with um, two different bottles of paint. It's pretty pink and light pink. Okay, and then my ivory is just uh, white with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of um, burnt sienna, very, like two drops of burnt sienna and maybe six drops of yellow, that's about it. But it's, it's I made it in a big bottle, so um, I have it pre-made here. And all my colors are mixed with Floetrol, that's it, nothing else. And the pinks have four drops of silicone in them. The, the ivory and the gold do not have silicone, okay? So, now that we've got all that taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring these paints into these cups. I don't like these plastic cups. They're not very heavy and my box isn't very level, so I'm gonna go ahead and Take a seat here and we're gonna get this taken care of real quick. I'm sorry I can't get you any closer. It's just the angles of the camera and where the camera has to be. I'm in a really small space, so I'm working on getting a different camera angle and different lighting. Right now I have like 200 watts of light up above my head just so I can see and it makes it pretty bright in here and it puts a glare on the painting and it's just not ideal for what I'm trying to do here but hey that's all I have to work with right now so I will take what I can get It's great when it's just me because I can see wonderfully, but unfortunately when I'm trying to show everybody else, there's a big old glare. And once I start, I'll bring the canvas back so you can see. So I'm gonna start with the darker, I put ivory in the bottom of each one. So I'm gonna start with the quinacridone magenta on the bottom. Try to do this as fast as I can because I know this is really boring to watch. So we're gonna go dark to light, I guess. I'm just kind of learning about paint densities and how to pour in your cup to get certain types of results, and I'm learning all that and learning about opaques and transparent and yeah gonna take me a while to figure it all out. So I'm gonna put a layer of gold in between each pink because I really want the gold to show up. Last time I tried to do this my paints were too thin and it was all just kind of a it all just kind of melted together and it really there was no definition in between colors and there actually wasn't a whole lot of contrast put in there on my part. So this time I'm hoping I have more contrast between the colors and it turns out better because what I had before, I think I already painted over it or I just scraped it, I can't remember, but it was really ugly. So it's, gone by the wayside and I didn't put any um, satin enamel in the ivory I just want to go with the 
plain old regular stuff. I don't want anything special. I don't want to... I don't want to screw this up because I really want it to turn out. I have wanted... I have had this in my brain for like the last two days. I want to do pink and gold and ivory. So instead of just thinking about it, I decided, okay, so I got some time. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to need to put some more gold. It's okay. I got a whole bottle of it. And I really didn't have to um, thin it out or anything. I've got them um, the consistency I really like in the bottles already. So I'm just going to scrape this out of the cup and use the bottle of it from here on out. So I made it so that I would have enough for each color. So it's probably about two and a half ounces per cup. But since I already had the gold in the bottle, I figured, what the heck, I don't need to make a whole bunch of gold in a cup. And then we have light pink or pretty pink or whatever you want to call it. Should be able to get one more layer in here and that should be about two and a half ounces. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit more ivory and then a little bit more gold and then put another layer on of the pink. Sorry, I have a tendency not to speak up. So if you can't hear me very well, say something in the comments so I know because so far I haven't gotten any comments on any of the videos so I really don't know what you all are thinking or if you think that I'm talking too low or too slow or whatever. I just, I would love some feedback from y'all. It would be great. Alright, so let me get my bottle of gold here. Throw a little more gold on top. Just a little bit. The gold always seems to want to disappear, so I figure I'm going to load it up with gold this time, and hopefully it'll show up. And I figured I'm going to do three flip, four flip cups, because it seems like the more flip cups you do on a large surface, the better results you get. Like if you just try and do one huge flip cup, you have to spread everything out to cover the entire canvas and then your cells get really stretched and everything just kind of gets stretched out. And I think you have a more of a chance of getting mud and I was just, I don't know, I was just brainstorming thinking, okay, maybe this is better to do it this way. I don't know. I'm just learning. So if any of you have any more scientific ideas about how to do things and how to get your colors to stay bright and bold instead of getting muddy, I mean, I have kind of the basics, I guess. You don't want it too thin or it gets muddy, but you don't want it too thick or you don't get cells. And who knew it was gonna be this technical when I first started out doing this. I figured, yeah, throw a little paint in a cup and throw it on some canvas and make something pretty. Yeah, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but that's okay because it is really, really fun, so. I honestly don't mind at all. I'm not good at math. I don't math at all, actually. But, uh, where's my ivory? Yeah, we'll do ivory last on top. Yeah, let's do pink. And anyway, I can't math to save my life. I mean, I can multiply this, get the square footage of my canvas and figure out, you know, how many ounces of paint 
I need. Or I can do it the way Julie does it and do it by centimeters and then figure out how many grams, which is actually a lot easier than the American way. And I do have a scale, but I really don't use it. I just kind of look at the cup and find out where I need to pour it to and just pour it that way. I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll get a little bit more scientific with it if my paintings aren't turning out the way I want it. But I know a lot of people just guesstimate and they end up with great looking stuff. So, all right, so we're gonna do a little bit more gold. Now watch, the gold is gonna take over and we won't have any pink. That's my luck, okay, ivory. And we'll top it off with ivory. So I got about two and a half ounces in each cup, which will give me um, about 10 and three quarter ounces, I think. I had to math there and that was really difficult. So yeah, I mean, I could, you know, if somebody showed me how to do brain surgery, or something like that, I could probably do it, but don't, don't ask me to math because it's, it's not happening. This girl does not math. I can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. It's gotten me through life. I learned med math because I had to calculate drug, drug calculations, drug do dosages. And I was given drugs in the back of an ambulance, but that's actually pretty easy and all you really gotta do is go to the back of the book and it gives you a chart so or you have a for kids you have what's called a Braslow tape and it's this long stretched out chart thing and you measure the child on it and then you look on the side of the chart and it tells you what the dosage is for every single drug that you need would need to give a child so yeah so it's pretty easy but when I took the class you had to learn med math and it was horrible. I need a drink of tea. Ah, I just made another gallon of tea, so I'm good to go. All right, let me grab my gloves. Should have had those ready to go. I'm sorry about that. Let's tuck my watch under there. I'm constantly picking paint out of my jewelry and stuff because I don't take it off. I sleep in it, I shower with it, it just stays on me forever. Okay, so. All right, so. If anybody's seen me flip cups before, rather than turn the canvas over and put the cup under it and flip it back, if you see me try and flip the cups, you know I'm terrible at it. So here we go. Let's see in that pretty that pinks and gold and ivory. All right, so I wanna do one there, one there, one there, and one there. Yeah, that was really bad. Ooh, hey, look at that. Hardly any spill at all. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. I'm so proud of myself. That's awesome. Okay. Yep. My dog saving the world again. I'm going to let this sit here for just a minute and let it come down to the canvas. There's dogs barking outside too, so she's all freaked out about what's going on out there. That is so pretty so far. Oh my gosh. God, I hope this turns out. I really do. I did another one that's pink. I don't know if I have it in here. I did one that's pink and gold, but I had like other colors in it too. 
try and show you without the glare. I had black and I had, what else? It's kind of a yellowish color, I don't know. I think it was like a yellow gold, but it wasn't gold. It was just the color yellow gold and white. So I thought I would keep it a little bit more simple this time and no black. So hopefully it turns out the way I want it. I put it on a bigger canvas too, so <sighs> I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm sort of ready. Oh, yep. See how I am? Thank God you can tip these things. Yeah, that was brilliant. Oh, you know what? I need to go around and put something underneath my, underneath my, what is that thing? A box. So it doesn't run everything off. It's not quite level. There we go. I think that'll help. All right, so. That is going to be really pretty. Oh, and I didn't put a um, base coat on here. I didn't think it was really necessary since I'm going to be putting so many, so much paint on here. Hey, that was better. That I really didn't need to put a base coat on here if I need to put any paint around on the edges and stuff to get it to flow better I'll do that hey, look at that can you see that it's making big old cells in the cup all right I am so bad at that So far, it's looking pretty darn good. Let's get this to go this way a little bit. All right, so let's give it a little torch. I think I'm gonna have to get a new, a new torch, because this one wants to quit working even when I have my hand on the button. I'm not sure why it wants to do that, but wow, this is gorgeous. Okay. So far I'm pretty happy. down this way a little bit. See, this is where I don't do so well. I'm not really good at tilting. So this paint doesn't roll right over the top of each other. I'm going to go ahead and put some paint on here so it can do its thing. I'm going to use ivory instead of white because I thought it would look, I don't know, I thought it would give it a better, a, not a better look, but a different look, you know. So 
something different. I get tired of using white all the time. That putting ivory on there would make it look a like give it a softer look. to the center. Uh, just come over this way. Sorry, I don't talk very much when I'm doing this. It's, it's so scientific. My brain just can't handle it. All right, and then come back this way. I got that big old blob of gold there. I sure hope it gives me some cells. Try and get rid of this. Big old blob of ivory here. It's looking kind of neat. All right, um, let's scoot it back this way. <clears throat> Sorry, my allergies are kind of like a coke addict or something. All these sniffling. No, I don't do drugs. All right, let's get rid of some of that big blob of gold there. Okay. Okay. gander at this and see what it looks like. Well, I do love the colors, the way they came out. All right, let's torch this and see what it does. I'm hoping cells come out of this big gold spot here. get the big the big cells because I just stretch it too much. Maybe some will pop up here. Because I did get rid of a good amount of paint. So well, these bubbles popped. My paint was pretty bubbly. Just made it before I poured it. So. Okay. So let me see if I have any big blobs in there that I need to pluck out. 
my paint seems really nice and smooth. I didn't see any blobs in it, so it should be good. Let me get my corners here. Gosh, the paint in the bottom is so pretty. I've always loved pink. All right, we got some pretty cool little effects going on here. Got some more cells popping up in that gold, so that's good. I'm glad. with it anymore. I have a really hard time walking away and then I end up with a mess. So I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to let it be and let it do its thing. And see, is that a blob? Oh, I have a blob. All right, I had my tweezers earlier. What did I do with them? Why do I do that? Hmm. Where are they? There they are. All right, where did I see that blob? Right there. Is that just a bubble? No. It's really frustrating when you get a really good painting done and then it dries and you look at it and there's a big old blob. And then you try and fix it and you can't. You pick it off of there and it leaves a big old mark. And then, yeah. So, look really well all over before you let it dry. Otherwise, you might have a big old bump in your painting and then I don't want to say it's ruined but it kind of doesn't make it look as good as it would if it wasn't there so, so let's get rid of some more of these bubbles that I see popping up you don't want to leave your torch on the painting you want to move pretty quickly and you want to keep it pretty high. Get these bubbles popped. Yeah, my um, gold blob has a lot of paint coming through now, so that's good. Alright. So I think that's it. I think I'm going to leave it as is. I don't know about you, but I wash my cups and reuse them because I'm just a poor person and I need to do that and I even rewash my sticks so and everybody worries about paint going down the sink and clogging your pipes and all that but once a month I take baking soda and vinegar and hot water I let it sit in there for like an hour and then I take hot water and flush it all out but if I have a ton of paint I need to get rid of, I just put it in a container and throw it in the garbage can. I don't put it down the sink. I like to try and use up any extra paint that I have rather than throw it away because I just don't like wasting. So let's get this up here so you can see it. It changes color when it gets up to the camera. That's funny, it looks more purple. Down here it looks pink. Anyway, I don't know if you can see that very well, but 
Look at that, it turns purple. How funny is that? Okay, so what I'll do is, oh, look at the bottom. That stuff's really pretty. Maybe I'll get like a, I think I have little um, boards, um, canvas boards. I think I might have a few of those. Maybe I can scoop some of that up and make some kind of a painting out of it. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for a while and then I'm gonna take it out, out of the box and take it to my dryer and let it sit on top of my dryer to dry. I have freezer paper down in my dryer, but you know, drips happen. So my top of my dryer has these beautiful little paint drops all over it. Well, not a lot, but enough. And you know, they peel off, but I don't know. It's kind of pretty. I hate to ruin the years of decorations that I've left on my dryer top. I don't really care. Nobody else is gonna see it. So, so anyway, that's it. I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm really, really happy with this because you can really see the dark magenta, the lighter pink, and then the really light pink, and the gold. And then there's ivory in there. And it just has a really pretty look to it. So once this dries, I'll do a better close-up. I'll take some pictures and um, I'll post it on acrylic pouring and Australian acrylic pouring. That's the two groups that I'm in that I um, share stuff on. You guys should check them out. They're amazing. There's so many amazing artists in there and they post some of the most beautiful paintings. And that's where I get all of my inspiration from. So y'all should check it out if you don't already. And then Gina DeLuca, um, Let's Make Some Art. I'm on that one as well. And you should definitely check that out. She's amazing as well. I've learned a lot from her and Julie Cutts and um, another really good person to learn things from, especially about mixing paint and, and different types of pouring and stuff is Anne-Marie Ritterhoff. She is Dutch and she has the coolest accent. She speaks English, but she's got this great accent and she's funny and, but she's very informative. So you should check her out too. So anyway, I'm gonna say goodbye. Um, if you like my video, give me a like button. If you like the painting, give me a like. And if you like both of those, subscribe. And that way you can see when I post more paintings follow me and you can learn right along with me because believe me I am still learning so all right so y'all have a good evening and I might come back and do another um, another painting um, let me show you what I got I found I found this strainer and it's the same one that um, I want to say Molly yeah. Molly uses and she gets those really incredible um, 3d crystal like looking things in the middle of her um, strainer pores but I found the strainer that she uses and as you can kind of see it's indented here so you just pour right here and it just strips down and I mean you can pour around the outside too but um, I might give that a try, um, probably on maybe 14 by 14 or something like that. And anyway, um, this is probably going to be next. So I just got to figure out what colors I want to do. So if anybody has an idea for some great colors to use, uh, feel free to comment and let me know. I'll be happy to try any color combinations. I'm I'm up for anything, so I just like doing this. It's a lot of fun. So anyway, you all have a good evening, and thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.